the Session Explorer has many uses, but the main ones are triggering behaviour and inspecting instance populations. Trigger model behaviour, you first find the activity you need to invoke in the Session Explorer tree. Then, right click on the activity and choose Execute from the menu. The action language is executed and you can then observe the effect it has on the state of the running model. Functions, class operations and messages may all be triggered in this way, so long as they take no arguments. Functions and class operations are found under the packages in which they were declared. Messages are found organised by port under each component instance. To look at the population of instances, you drill down into the component of interest. First, you see a tree entry for the component instances. Under that, you will find an entry for each of the modelled classes organised by the packages in which they were modelled. Classes with instances can be opened further to show the instance population. The name of every instance is unique. If attributes of the class have been specified as identifying attributes, Verify will show the instances identifying attributes as part of the name. If the class has no identifying attributes, Verifier will assign an arbitrary number to the instance and show that instead. You open up an instance in the tree to see more details about its internal state. Inside you can see the values of any attributes of the instance. If any of these have structure, the tree may be opened further to reveal the values below. If there is an instance state machine defined for the class, the value of the current state will be shown here beside the attributes. If the instance has links with other instances, the associations will be shown. Opening up an association shows the currently associated instances. You can continue to drill down into the linked instances as deep as you need to explore. Reflexive associations Show the verb phrase in addition to the association number so that you can traverse in the direction you are interested in. If an instance has events enqueued with it, they will be shown in the order that they were consumed. Events nearer the top will be consumed before events near the bottom. Opening an enqueued event reveals the values of any event data items it carries. Delayed events are shown with the amount of time to expiry. Unless simulated time has been selected, these events will not be consumed until the time expires, even if they reach the top of the event list. <laughs>